Hey everybody, welcome back, Wealth of Nations EU4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Matt the Sarumba and Quill. Say hello. 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 Hey there. This game's cool. a lot harder when you don't pause like every two ticks. <laughs> yes. Have you noticed yes, that? Yes, it is. <laughs> Much harder. Like one little stack oh. of rebels goes and gives you a hard time all of a sudden. Like, what? Come on. Not a problem. I like how uh, Russia came and defeated one of my rebel stacks, though. That was yeah, nice. but now nice. they're nice. they're occupying the province for <laughs> themselves. Yeah, not for long though. Ah, I see. Although, wow, they are sieging like crazy fast. That oh, is they going have a siege really quickly. too, dude. I guess that's part of it. Who's this one stack with an amazing commander? It's three, three, three. I'm gonna go kill him. <laughs> it does seem like the AI is like unnecessarily aggressive towards rebels when they're. Like rebels in your land, and they're or with you. They're like, I will kill these rebels, <laughs> and then I will take over their siege. Oh, here comes a forty-four stack. Okay, mm, time to move. Yeah. Well, I can I can at least spot for you guys. Although I'm sure Mathis can too, considering they're in his land. Well, yeah, there's a forty-four stack marching this way. All right, I gotta move. And there's a twenty. Well, there's a twenty-five stack in Italy, so I think there's stacks of what? Russian, Russian armies. Oh. Yeah, I'm tempted to go attack that army since it's got no leader. It, is it considered in the mountains? I can just I can take it if you want. Lom is Lombardia? No, that's not island. Um, that is not. Mountains. Especially if they don't have a leader, that's going to be plains for sure. All right, I'll, I'll march in. I'll take care of them. Sweet. They do have that 44 stack that might reinforce. Yeah, right. I'm a little nervous about if that. If you're I'm about to lose anything, just pause right away. We'll we'll do the peace treaty. Like, yeah. they'll still awesome. give me... Wow, the stack in Anjou is now 72 rebels in one province. Wow. Just because I can still get the two provinces. I just can't get anything for you. All right. I, somehow this is not going my way, and I don't know why. Russia is you probably a much higher pause. military level. Uh, that's yeah, they're, true. They're okay. three levels higher. All right. Well, they're about to reinforce the 44 stack and wipe out my entire army, so... All right. Let's see here. If I don't take the 2% province, can I get you something? Oh, I can! Do you, I assume, do you want who added? Sure, Ruin? sounds, I don't know. sounds good to me. I'll take it. Yeah, because I can't get Numerous. It's probably pretty damn close. Can totally you record it? Uh, no, I could just give it away eventually, though. You could give it know. to Italy? Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Wow, that's a 72 stack of rebels. Yeah. That's we'll just leave them in France. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, I'll take those two and then do that, and then that'll be fine. Um, now that the war's over, France can start the rebuilding effort as soon as they wipe out, you know, the 114,000. Rejected? What? No! Oh. <laughs> we lost, like, one tick of war score here. Oh, I gotta uh -oh. wait. I gotta wait until April 7th before I can send another one. Oh, God, no! God, that's so annoying. There goes my it's, army. It said they would accept, but I guess we just lost one tick in between. <laughs> Goodbye, Venetian army. <laughs> Uh, that's really funny. Well, I bet you we can take Nemours if we don't lose too much. Uh, here comes the four, 44 stacks heading into France now. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to peace out Castile. What are you guys wonder... doing? I wonder how much of the war war score I'm going to lose when you peace out. You're not going to lose any. All of it. No, you're not going to lose any. I won't lose any. No. Okay. Separate That's wars. Good. Separate wars. I none of my war scores contributing to you in any way whatsoever. Doesn't war enthusiasm contribute? Uh, war enthusiasm affects like their ability or their willingness to peace out, but I doubt okay. that their enthusiasm. Well, I guess it might bounce back a little actually. But really not much. You should really be killing things, nope. Mr. Prussian. There's two stack of, like, Russians that are kind of annoying me. You I, can't, I can't attack the Russians. They're my allies. Oh, that's right. Long, you, long time allies. How convenient. <laughs> for you and not for me. Look, don't be mad at me because I'm a master of international diplomacy. Man, I got five war score for white piecing Mali. They must be actually fairly strong. Gained 3,000 manpower, sweet. Or maybe not.
Are you able to take all of the provinces that you occupy that surround Ile-de-France? Uh, no, I can't take Namours yet. Okay. Can you take out the rebels that are in Orly now? Otherwise, I might have to restart that siege, and it'll be yeah, super inconvenient. Yeah, I can do that. Thank Fine. you. Love you. White, white peace offer from France, everybody. <laughs> it's very hopeful. Just sucks that I had to reset my uh, my siege and all that. So, like, really slowed mm -hmm. down my war score there. And actually, like, keep a big army stack on there and make sure no rebels pop right there. Interesting, because Steel just joined a coalition that the Timurids are a part of. So I could attack the Timurids and then be at war with Castile again. <laughs> Interesting. I just isolated Toledo, their their gold mine, so that I can... Uh, it was their capital. They were trying oh, to yeah. protect it. But it's isolated now, so they moved their capital to Asturias. Which means they've also switched to the Bordeaux trade node. Oh man, yeah, Castile looks really bad. And Castile just gave away 100 gold to Congo. <laughs> that is a strategic move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously. They're friends. They're just supporting them for something. They're nice guys. Reasons, yeah. Oh, uh, that's why I'm losing a lot of money. I got it. Force limit. Oh, yeah. So it's funny. I uh I have 62 war score against France and like no occupation at all. Wow. <laughs> I have occupied um Constantine and Anaba on the northern coast of Africa. That's it. <laughs> 62% war score. 40 from battles and a ticking war score of 22 from having won 86% of battles. I actually don't know what to spend my war score on against them. Hey, France, what do you want? A white piece? Oh, sure. No. no. I'm just kidding. So close. I'm at 30% war score again, which means I think we should be able to get the piece we wanted, although it'd be still nice to get into Moors. No, the although I am, pop. like, wickedly overextended, so... Are you going over 100%? Uh, I will, I'm sure. Which You're is willing fine. to do that, huh? It could possibly go wrong. I don't like doing that. Ever since they made the change where oh, the rebels brutal. are are even bigger. And I hate that one event that gives two provinces 15% revolt risk. Yeah, it's awful. And you know what? I think I'm just going to take this as is. Which means mm, nothing for uh, Mathis. I, you're losing an army right yeah, now. Yeah, you might want to pause, Anju. I'll just peace. Oh, okay. All right. Um, interesting. I Let's still have rebels this. all over my own territory. I'm going to try to take uh, the, the two remaining provinces that border Ile-de-France, and that'll be it. Because I'm losing a truckload of ducats. See, I'm thinking I'll just stay in the war long enough to core the stuff I took from Castile. Smart. And then take more land from France. That's actually kind of how it's worked out for me with the stuff I took from the Ottomans. Like That's going to finish in two months. Whoa, I have a lot of war exhaustion. I didn't realize that was part of the problem. I was at, like, over 10. Jeez. Yeah, that's a huge problem. I'm going to spend that down right away because I'm going to have issues already. How did you get that high? I don't know. Long <clears> war. <throat> Lots of little battles and skirmishes lost. It was a pretty long war. I need to infiltrate uh, administration with France again. Make sure they're, they haven't landed their... Uh, you know, 150 troops back. Nope. Still 100 force marching in West Africa. But they're going to be the strongest West African nation. <laughs> of all time. Yeah. The competition is not even going to be close. Oh, man. What I wouldn't give for a Navy builder right now. So much. Mm -hmm. Uh, manual clicking bullshit. Hey, holy crap, manual yeah, you have clicking. rebels everywhere, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can squash them now. My troops are just busy. Holy shit. There's still thousands in the bank, so... D are you getting those events that fire up your revolt risk, or what happened? No, no, those were there in the war. It's because of the war score. I have lost one stability, and I just lost 25 prestige from those events. 
That's all so far. Wow. No problem. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting offers from France to annul their treaties with Castile and with Russia. Nice. It's tempting. Man, I love the way that our borders have expanded. Like, we're all very Fucking mindful friends. of one another. We're squeezed into, like, this sausage casing. <laughs> yeah, it's a real sausage fest. <laughs> well, you know, that's grand strategy. I feel I nervous walking by all these rebels. The, the Rainians. I mean, <laughs> France is about to just get destroyed. And what's with your little... <laughs> you've got like a little... As, as Northern Line would probably call it, a donger extending into France. Yeah, penetrating France. <laughs> yes, look yeah, at that thing, funny. man. Why'd you do that? Well, because I'm trying to wrap around at Ile de France. Hmm. Give it the Hans a hug. <laughs> Which we are going to be able to do, by the way. But also, I am losing 48 ducats a month. Wow. Damn. Must be bad. I'm making I am making sixty nine point four seven. Hey, yeah. that's pretty good. It's the magic number, isn't it? For some. So if I declare I could declare no C B war on Malwa, Tim Rids would honor the call. They'd call in the coalition and I could be at war with Castile. Sounds like a plan. Anything to get rid of Castile. Yeah. Well, I just want Toledo. That thing makes like a hundred ducats a year on its own. It's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Yeah, that'd be real nice. Alright, this is a transport fleet. That's that. Still settling. This is done. Let's send a settler over there. Oh, wall's breached. And it's still a... Oh, there we go. Alright. I gotta pause for a sec. Okay. It's fine. There's so much going on. Okay. White piece from Portugal accepts. And that gives me a huge war score bonus. And then we take the provinces like that. Overextension is going to be crazy. I need all of your ducats to pay off my loans. A null treaty with Russia so Arumba doesn't have to do it later. Nice of you. A null treaty with Castile. Actually, if you do that, I might be able to separate piece them. Because they, um, right now, they don't want a separate piece because they've got <clears> an ally in the war. Mm. But if they don't, because you break their alliance. Oh, you know what? It cost me that. Uh, I'm going to have to not annul their treaty. Which one? You'd rather probably annul their treaty with Russia. Yeah. <sighs> if you can. What, yep. Why? Uh, I, I have to take enough provinces to completely border Ile de France, which I didn't do before. I could take out like Barois, but that's the war goal, and it's my only way to actually core the provinces I take. So, yeah, hmm. here we go. Uh, I'm gonna unpause. Okay. And then I'm gonna pause just for a second. <laughs> take care of this nonsense. Oh man, now I'm now I'm tempted to go take Gil de France. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think it's got you the won't hug. be able to get it though. Oh, because it's uh, surrounded, yeah, you can take it. Actually, wow, yep. I'm really surprised how much land you were able to take from France. You mean, North France or South France? Well, in Middle <laughs> France, like how you just carved a path straight through. You took a lot of provinces. Yeah, I had uh, I had seventy six percent war score. Oh, that's pretty good. Somehow, did you break? Um, did you and all their treaties with France? With Russia, they're annulled, yeah. That's weird. Still showing um, that they're allies. I can peace break. Oh, no, I got a Regency Council. I forgot about that. I forgot that Maybe. I died right as the war started. I'm seven <laughs> years old. Oh, minor inconvenience. Stupid rebel sentiment. What? I just took out a loan? Really? When did I go from, like... I mean, I know I've got a few Sorry. mercs, but wow. Demand on lawful territory from Minster. <laughs> I forgot Seriously? that that was a thing. I... Wait. How do I... How do I move? Oh, right. 
just leave the HRA at this point. But I'm still Ow. getting a discount on um, on stability and tech or something, aren't I? Pretty sure. Between the time that the war ended and now, I annexed Livonian Order in like a month. Yeah, the annexing goes really fast now. That's ridiculous. Annexing of vassals, yeah. <clears throat> France could look better. They could. I know, it's looking pretty good to me. <laughs> Am I really still losing 80 ducats a month? Come on. I forgot that I have, like, no trade power left. Ah, uh, fine. There we go. Ah, uh, beautiful. The cores, they're coming. <laughs> I mean, they're they are arriving. What, yeah, but... don't, uh... <laughs> no. I'm about to finish Cantabria. That'll be nice. I still will be over 100% overextended, but not quite as much. Oh, that's right. I have more than one missionary. Cool. Ooh. Your missionary position is very popular. hi -o. Oh, son of a bitch like to how... steal. <laughs> starting to settle freaking Timor. I still have a colonist. I'm confused. I was at Castilian, game... but I have a colonist building colony there that I can recall. What? I don't understand. <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that? I, I have no idea what's going on, so. But something is weird is happening with the game. In the island of Timor, I have a colonist. Presumably they're building a colony, but it's Castilian. Mm. I've got a recall button. I don't know. Something stupid's going on. It's clearly not my colonist. And it's a lot of uh, a lot of revolt risk. Turns out the the French people were pretty, you know, happy being French. Weird. Yeah. Relatively displeased. So should I go after Ile de France? I won't be able to core it, but I could take it from him. Give it. <clears throat> but if you take it, then uh, you could always sell it to me or Northern Lion. Could I sell it? I thought you had to have a core, or not? Uh, I know. I th you should be able to sell it without a core. Or is it just to vassals that you can't? I don't remember. There's a lot of stupid rules. Push comes to shove, I could always just give you Orlina. Since that's our victory condition, is one of us... Well, technically, you don't even have to have core. You can just take it, and then we've, we've done it. We've taken Constantinople and Ile de France, and we win. And we can find a different game. Is that is that the plan? Is that what we're doing? I think that's end game for us. That That was, yeah. I think Mathis wants it to be endgame. Well, the, I can't. I can't fight you guys. So <laughs> they'd be like, "Oh, we're gonna have a world war against all of us." All right, who am I losing to first? Yeah. Mostly just means yeah. probably Prussia wins. I don't know. It depends when it happens. Like, I think I could muster the strongest military, but if any two of you, well, if Arumba and Quill banded together and fought me, they would win. I think. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's take a look. In the ledger, right now, Prussia, you still have the most overall troops, but no manpower. Yeah, I'm at zero manpower. So if it happened like I'm, right now, I would be screwed. I'm actually looking pretty healthy. I've got yeah, my you're full. Do, you're doing very well. I think I might. It's actually possible just... that that either you or Quill could take me single-handedly, just because you you have knowledge of the game more than me. I need to uh, negotiate a peace here, if possible. Okay, goodbye, Russia. Stop defending France. <laughs> That'll make life a lot easier for you. I love how you can do that. You just be like, oh, hey, I concede. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I fighting Castilian Louisiana when I'm no longer at war with Castile? Because, man, it's Castilian Louisiana. They're different people. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I have a call Racist. for peace now. Hmm. People are getting cranky. Yeah, they well, you have been fighting war. one war for like eleven years. You've had the war goal for a while, I guess. Yeah, that's because you've won ages ago. All right, I'm gonna retreat back to just the provinces that actually matter. 
I can't actually see myself taking Ile de France. Okay. It's going to take too long because I've got to actually get in there. That's and then fine. Ile de France is... Uh, take forever to siege. We'll just wait for the next truce thing. Or if I, I was going to say, I could just truce break. But again, Regency Council, I forgot about that. Prussia could truce break and take Ile de France. I'm not going to do that with zero manpower. Yeah, and you probably want your stuff to core or something. You know, get my reason. economy back to the point where it actually works again, and there's uh, some things here. That's weird. Call for peace went away. I don't know. <laughs> why. Eh, war is not so bad. Yeah, we've Man. got some more jingo, more jingoism. Come on, Russia. Turns out that we like winning wars. Actually, we thought we didn't like fighting them, but we just as long as we're winning, we're cool. Right. Russia called me into a war against the Ottomans again. That's weird. Yeah. We just fought them. That, oh, I Russia think maybe Carl. The Ottomans. Uh, I was gonna say they say they have a truce with Prussia, Russia, and Ukraine right now. Oh, maybe the Ottomans didn't join. No, the uh, oh, it was Kazan, Oman, and Kara. Okay, Kazan is the war leader. Yeah, they are pretty big. Oh, this is sweet. That means I mean I don't have to do anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, it's not like Kara's gonna come through the Ottomans. That's my mistake. It was Oman. Oh man. Well, yeah, they can go through the Ottomans. They're allied with the Ottomans. Kara is. Yeah. Oh, that's no. No, they allied were with oh, Oman. No, not, no, no. Okay, you're right. They were okay. allied with the Ottomans recently. That they're yes. not anymore apparently. I think what happened then is when um, when Ottomans I got the, declined. Yeah, when I when they got the call, the Ottomans probably said no, thank you. Were they that polite? No. I don't speak the language that they speak, though. Otherwise, I would do an impression, but I think it has the potential to go terribly wrong. Probably sounds the, German. The language of the Ottomans? Yes. And they like, gobble, 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 gobble. Wow, Cause I get it. Turkey. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty rude, though. I don't think it is, actually. So are we wrapping this episode up here, by the way? Did the timer? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. The timer had yeah. gone off. Oh, jeez. All right. I know. <laughs> I just figured I'd point it out. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Did you know I read every single comment someone leaves on my video? That's insane. Why would I do that? I don't know, but I'll read yours.